All right, sports anchor Ryan Welch joins us now because it is a big night for Orlando oh, yeah. City Soccer. Ryan, they're having their best season ever in their nine-year history. Right? Ever. And we don't get a lot of playoff atmosphere around no. these parts. That's a true story. It's been a few years, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, we've got so much momentum for this team right now. The Lions set a number of franchise records this year, but here's when it matters most, the playoffs. It is the most important time of year for MLS fans. New Six's Brian Didlick joins us live in downtown Orlando. And Brian, what is the scene like there? Well, Ryan, the scene is starting to really kick up here as we're seeing a sea of purple here near the Exploria Stadium. Many fans very excited about tonight's playoff game. And the Lions hope to keep that mojo going tonight in game one of the playoffs. The Lions wrapped up the regular season, finishing second in the conference again, best in their short history in Major League Soccer. And exciting for this city, considering we haven't had too much to celebrate in terms of our local sports team in the recent years. Now, while people are getting pumped, moments of somber here at Exploria Stadium, a group of about, of about 40 people, many family and friends of one season ticket holder, that ticket holder, ticket holder, excuse me, Ryan Matthews, who passed away from a heart attack at the beginning of this month, according to his family. Now, while family and friends with Orlando City got a chance to honor Matthews on the field today, they tell me it is still heartbreaking that he missed today's playoff game. And uh, we know that he's in the stands in spirit and he'll be rocking this place and he'll be looking down awfully proud of the family that he's got here. Uh, how would he be in this moment? Because he, unfortunately, he's not here for the playoffs. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not. But he would be amped. He would look around at t totally humble in unbelief of, of the support that he's getting, uh, again, from family and friends. Uh, we are all Orlando fans, uh, but I think there's none bigger than Ryan. Now, again, fans are still excited. The family and friends of Matthew say that they're going to be cheering extra loud tonight's game for tonight's game. And again, the kickoff starts around 7 p.m., but we'll be here all night giving you the latest updates. For right now, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6. Ryan.